Hey, can I ask half? Huh. Dear Tim and Moby, how do cells divide? From Courtney. Well, people don't grow by making their body cells larger. Instead, cells divide, making two cells from one. And luckily, cell division is a lot more precise than Moby's sandwich dividing skills. When a cell divides, the nucleus leads the way. We call it mitosis when the nucleus divides into two identical nuclei. Mitosis ensures that each cell offspring will have a complete set of chromosomes just like the parent cell. Chromosomes are two DNA molecules held together by a cellular structure known as a centromere. Every human cell has 46 chromosomes in all. Mitosis has four steps, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. During the prophase, the chromosomes are visible. Little structures called centrioles move to opposite ends of the cell and thread-like spindle fibers begin to stretch across. In metaphase, the duplicated chromosomes line up along the center of the cell and each centromere attaches to two spindle fibers. The centromeres then divide during anaphase. Identical chromosomes separate and move to opposite sides of the cell. The final phase is called the telophase. During this phase, spindle fibers start to disappear. Chromosomes uncoil and it becomes harder to see them. Each mass of chromosomes develops its own nuclear membrane to make a new nucleus. After mitosis, the cell membrane splits and two whole new cells are formed. Well, both plant and animal cells undergo mitosis, but plant cells don't have centrioles and they have a rigid cell wall. Well, living organisms grow by cell division, so mitosis is pretty important. Hey, um, what are you doing? Trying to make them, uh, perfectly even, huh? Good, good. Uh, let me know when you get it exactly right. <laughs>